I want to introduce you to these three men. Gregory Eaton, Tom Henschel, and Donald Chrisman. They have attended every Super Bowl every single year since the first AFL-NFL World Championship game in 1967. Now, obviously, the Super Bowl means a lot of things to a lot of fans. It's time for family. It's a tradition. But these three men are in their 80s, and they have a love of the game and a love for each other. And because of this, um, of course, the Super Bowl 56, it could be their last time that the three of them sit in a stadium together. I want to welcome Mr. Gregory Eaton to the show this morning. Thank you for being here. Well, good morning. Thanks for having us. I'm just, I'm so honored, and I love this example of friendship. How did you guys decide that you were going to attend every single Super Bowl together? Well, you know, I, I was joined with them eight years ago, uh, and, uh, and they, you know, they did an article for me in Miami, and uh, Larry, Larry called me and said, would you like to join us? And, and then there was, there was four of us. And then Larry died, and now it was three of us. But I started going uh, because of uh, Green Bay Packers and Herb Adderley, who went to Michigan State when I met when I was 17, he was 18. And then, uh, you know, uh, we had uh, Norm Masters from Michigan State on that team, and um, Curry on that team, and Herb Adderley. So it was like, you know, like home week for me. And then a good friend, uh, 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 Ron Kramer, who was a good friend of mine who played in Michigan. So it was like, that was, you know, so it became my team, but I was a Lion fan all my life and living in, in Michigan. How? And then, then, then I, I put a bond with them and I'd go up to Green Bay. So that's how mine started. But how did this special group begin? Where did you guys come up with the idea or who came up with the idea to do this? Uh, Larry. Larry, who passed away, came up with it and Don. Don is eight, uh, 85, and uh, and uh, them two, and then and Tom came in, and then then I came in. I was the last one to join them. And and how did they all know each other? Through 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 the press and through things, and, and, and you know, and then they find out this guy's been every Super Bowl. This guy, and we're the only group that's been to the Super Bowl as fans. We bought our tickets. We wasn't in the press. We wasn't in. We are really fans. We purchased purchase like tickets to go every year. Legit. You guys are legit fans. I know there's talk that this might be the last game. Uh, is there a reason why? And, and Well, that came from Don. Don is 85. Okay. And he thought maybe it would be, you know, his last year. But uh, I, I like to go to I'm 85, which gives me three more years to lose my health levels up. Well, we're gonna we're gonna believe that your health is gonna continue to stay strong, and you guys are gonna continue well, to enjoy. Well, keep me in your prayers. I believe it too. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Absolutely, and um, I just love the symbolism of friendship, and whether it's football or anything else, just men coming together and and joining together for a, a wonderful time of love and, and friendship. So thank you again uh, to you. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the game. Thank you, and thank you for having us and keeping us in your prayers. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.